It was a chilly autumnal night on November 15th, 1966, when a pair of young couples were casually driving past an old World War II munitions plant in Mason, West Virginia. They had no reason to pull over, passing the local wildlife management area until they spotted something that would make any reasonable person stop in their tracks. Before their very eyes, a massive beast with glowing red eyes, standing tall and firm like a muscular yet slender human male, appeared off the side of the road. He was maybe seven feet tall and featured white and wicked wings sprouting from his back like a medieval gargoyle. His eyes were so scarlet and scary, they hypnotized the witnesses before they could get a good look at the creature's face. In a flash, the winged beast screeched in the direction of the couple's coop, standing near the wildlife management area, called the TNT area by West Virginia locals. The four folks, named Dickie and Linda Maxwell, and Steve and Mary Millette, drove by their peculiar sighting and wasted no time in getting as far away as possible without wasting as much as a second. The cryptic creature chased after them, making use of its wings and flying after the speeding car. It held its ground despite the vehicle's driver putting pedal to the metal. The beast was just that fast. In a stroke of good fortune, the two couples made it all the way back to their hometown, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, and the flying humanoid disappeared into the thick of night, rejoining the shadows as if it were nothing more than a mirage. Law enforcement was phoned later that night, and reports soon trickled out of confidential territory. The story made its way into local newspapers, and without hesitation, other suspicious sightings poured in to both the newsroom and the police station. One by one, a gigantic bird with red eyes that illuminated like bicycle reflectors was spotted by townsfolk. Point Pleasant officials urged the public to avoid exaggeration, believing the beast was nothing more than a misjudged sandhill crane or a large heron. After the initial electricity of the phenomenon wore off, most of Point Pleasant returned to their normal, everyday lives. That is until just over a year after the Maxwells and Millettes made their mysterious discovery, when on December 15th, 1967, the silver bridge on the edge of town collapsed and took 46 people with it. Of course, as rural small towns do, the catastrophe was immediately connected to the cryptid sightings, and all of Point Pleasant was besides itself. How could people sleep at night knowing a hypnotic, red-eyed creature with wings the size of a boxcar stalking their children at night? A few years later, the events were made into folklore by a slew of writers, most namely John Keel and the book he published in 1975. The rest of the world was soon privy to the myth known as Mothman, and the rest is history. Since that gray and groggy November night gave birth to one of America's most famous cryptids, more and more sightings and stories have surfaced around Point Pleasant and beyond. What hasn't materialized, however, are pieces of media or physical artifacts lending to the overall Mothman mystery. All we have are a few photos that may or may not show us a glimpse into the potential real-life manifestation of Mothman himself. Could they give us clues as to the truth of the Mothman? Or perhaps provide a key that unlocks an even deeper, hidden world a fearsome fantasy. Only one way to find out. The first photo is actually the most recent as well. It comes from an anonymous West Virginia transplant who had just moved to Point Pleasant when he happened upon the aforementioned cryptid in November of 2016, almost 50 years to the date of the first reported testimony. According to the WSAZ news station, the man, whose identity was never released, 
sent him three photos he took as he was driving along Route 2 in Point Pleasant. He wasn't one to try and snag photographs while driving, but on this special occasion, he had no other option. Flying above him along the country road was what appeared to be the Mothman himself. In the first image, you can see what appears to be a head, two large wings, and legs that look more human than bird-like. The other two images include a smaller silhouette of a beast, but again, depict a bird-like body with wings, human legs, and an enigmatic aura above all. According to both the man and the news reporter, the person behind the lens hadn't even heard of the Mothman leading up to his move to Point Pleasant, but felt deep in his bones the flying creature wasn't something he should just ignore. It's just too bad he couldn't capture more. Upon first glance, the photos truly do show off something that could be the Mothman. However, others have pointed out a much simpler explanation. It's widely believed the 2016 Mothman photos are of nothing more than an owl flying away with a snake dangling from its talons. Throw in the twilight skies, a few shadows, and picture perfect timing, and the snapshot of a predator with its prey becomes just the predator. It's also worth noting the coincidence of the photos coming on the 50th anniversary of the Mothman's origin story. The man also decided to remain anonymous without much of a good reason to do so. Some believed his claim that he'd never heard of Point Pleasant, but if you've ever been to the colorful West Virginia town, you'd know that it's almost impossible to step foot within the city limits and not hear about the crazed cryptid. The second photo is another set of images, this time depicting what appears to be the Mothman hanging off the infamous bridge that it allegedly destroyed back in December of 1967. The silver bridge connected Point Pleasant to Gallipolis, Ohio, and crashed due to a minuscule defect within the suspension chain. The official findings of wreckage analysts didn't deter the minds of imaginative locals from fantasizing, however, and to this day, many believe it's a cover for the true cause of the bridge collapsing, Mothman. The details behind these two images are incredibly hard to pinpoint, but it is undeniable that something elusive yet eerie is clinging to the top. The only explanation for these pictures is that of another bird of prey, like a heron or crane, stalking fish from above only to dive down and swoop them up, hence the dive bomb shape seen in the second image. The first image, though, tells a much different story. When zoomed in, it appears a gargoyle-shaped figure is actually latching itself to the top, as if resting or hiding from something else. Maybe the Mothman was on the run and used its old stomping ground as a place to rest before darting off as quickly as it came. The only question would be, what was the Mothman running from, and why in the middle of the day? Could there be something out there that even the Mothman was afraid of? The final piece of media comes from home video footage circa 2006, when a young American family accidentally records what appears to be Mothman flying above the treetops. The near 14 minute clip starts off in the suburbs depicting a few children playing outside on Easter Sunday. However, if you scroll through just about eight minutes into the video, you'll notice a winged creature fly into the frame before quickly jettisoning upward and leaving the camera's point of view. It's a quick apparition, and if you turn away for just a moment, there's a chance you won't see it. Now, it should be noted, many have claimed that this video is a hoax with the flying phenomenon explained as either a regular-sized moth or insect, or as something completely man-made, such as CGI or special visual effects added in post-production. 
After watching the encounter a few times, and pausing it while the thing is on screen, it does call for doubt that the Mothman actually made a surprise appearance in the sweet and saccharine postcard of suburbia. But in the off chance that it is real, in the way that sometimes it looks so fake it's actually real, what a haunting thought that a hypnotic, otherworldly creature is lurking where you'd least expect it. Hovering above your closest friends and family, an omen of unknown proportions, making itself seen only when it wants to be seen. Of course, this forces the question of why, a frivolous thing to ponder when dealing with any myth or mystery. So what do you think? Could any of these images be real snapshots into the life of the Mothman? Or are they all tricks of the mind, playing on our human sensibilities to see things that aren't really there? We just might never know, unless we explore into the beyond.